You want to kind of get your... They have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. These cutscenes are awesome. <laughs> we lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves. As she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Yeah, I mean... Mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. I've never seen uh, in any other game cutscenes that are so detailed, especially um, for having your Open the gate. character we are in the it. Land. You know what I mean? A lot of cutscenes will kind of just show your characters like the back of their head or something, but they really involve you in it, so it's pretty cool. In the 360 version, there were like no people here. Um, <laughs> It looked kind of weird. Uh, I think it's because this the it couldn't handle that many people. I guess so I read something about it. I'm not sure what the technical term is, but <laughs> see, they incorporated. It looks so cool. You got a weird face. <laughs> the pulses are coming faster now. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one. happens a lot of this game where it's like, you should have died from that. <laughs> I cannot expect you to be defenseless. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own. I hate this uh, loot system they have, where you have to, uh, where you have to press down on the left stick to find out if there's loot nearby. It's kind of annoying. And of course, you can't play in first person. That's okay.
gotta search all the nooks and crannies in the beginning of Inquisition because there's lots of stuff you could get. I'm probably gonna miss a bunch of it because I don't feel like going through everything. <laughs> Yeah, I usually play in third person as well, even I'll in first person it games, if it's an option. But sometimes I like switching, especially for... Well, like in, you know, in Elder Scrolls, like, the cutscenes aren't as cool as these ones. Like, they're kind of made more live. So, it's kind of nice to be in first person for the cutscenes. And for shooting a bow, I think, if you do bow or ranged attacks, but for almost everything else, I prefer third person as well. Oops. So you gather resources in this game, uh, you can use them for potions, but you can also use them for crafting other things. Um, you don't, you can't use them for crafting armor or anything like that, but you get, um, like crafting writs that you're supposed to fill. And, um, those kind of, those kind of help a lot, especially when you get to the upgraded point in the game to where you have like a fortress and stuff instead of just like a camp. And uh, you could upgrade it using like elf roots or whatever to make a garden and stuff like that, and that brings you gold. So it's kind of cool. I could go up there and search for some stuff, but I guess I'll just look over here. I don't really want to go all the way up there. <laughs> See, there's gold on this dead guy. Oh, there's something else. Oh. Iron, so I can make armor. I'm a rogue, so I have to wear medium armor. They don't give you a choice in this game only like qualify for certain types of armor. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. Beric, my favorite character. <laughs> what did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. You mean the whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself. Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. Like how, like, Good annoyed. Here I thought we'd be as deep in My character looks. <laughs> Barak Tethras. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tagalog. Oh yeah, you mean Iron Bull. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> it's funny too. I like how the characters have different conversations with each other if you bring them along. It's kind of cool. If you play a DA2, Varric was in the game. He was one of your companions as well. That's a nice crossbow you have there. Ah, isn't she? Bianca and I have been through a lot together. You named your crossbow Bianca? Of course. And she'll be great company in the valley. Absolutely not. Your health is a pre- 
appreciated, Varric, but... Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? She's Your such a jerk. Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. Ugh. My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. He means I kept that mark from the <laughs> while you slept. <laughs> Then I owe you my thanks. Thank me if we manage to close the breach without killing you in the process. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. <laughs> prisoner is that's no funny, mage. yeah, that's kind of true. Indeed, <laughs> I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. So now I can play as the other characters too. Like, um, oh, never mind. Scratch that. But eventually, you could play as the other characters. <laughs> There's some stuff down here. Oh, see now. Now it says to control other party members. I can do that now, which is nice. See, now I can run around as Varric, Cassandra. Demons ahead. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. I know, and in Dragon Age Inquisition, you finally find out why he names her Bianca. Oh, so I hate this tactical camera mode, but it's helpful if you're defeating like a big boss, like a dragon or something, so. Go camera, use that, you can read that if you want. Okay. So I could just basically just tell everybody what to do. And then everybody does it. So you definitely want to get all the loot that's in these little houses and stuff over here, because there's some good gold and stuff in here. Cotton and stuff like that you can use to make armor. Silver bracelets, uh, jewelry, you can... Some of it is wearable, but most of it is like a trophy. You can sell that. Uh, There might be some stuff over here, though. Maybe... Maybe not. Okay. So I could just go straight up the path, but I'm still gonna go and loot the rest of these houses. And I think there's some more enemies, too, up the river. Um, it depends on what mode you put your game on. You could take damage <laughs> going through this fire. In normal mode, you don't, but, um, if you had put it on, like, you know, hard or extreme, you would take damage right now. Elf fruit, the most important root in the game. <laughs> Collect all the elf root you ever see, ever, because you need it for so many things. It's very annoying. <laughs> I think there's some stuff up here. 